have a seat, and I want to invite the kiddos to come on up. I'm going to I'll be right back with you here in just a second. <clears throat> come on up. You know where we're going. Yeah, we're going to sit right here. Come on up. We'll wait for any others coming up from the back. Anybody back there? All right. Come on up. Anywhere you want to sit. That's fine. Is that all? Okay. All right. So I've got something to ask you. If, if somebody... There, you know, there are things in our lives sometimes where um, people say things or, or people, you know, we, we, it's hard to know what people are thinking or what they're feeling uh, unless they tell us. So, like, if somebody told you that they loved you, how would you know that they love you? What do your parents do to show you their love? All right, they might give you a hug, okay. What else? They take care of you, good, that's good. Some of us need more caring than others, don't we? Yeah, and me and you, probably, the two most of us, yeah. They take care of you, they might give you presents, they might give you a heart, or maybe even a, a, a heart-shaped ornament, or something like that. Um, but some, some ways, uh, a, and I'm going to lose my train of thought here, just bear with me, I'm trying to do two things at once. Some of us, it's hard for us. Um, but a, a heart can be kind of a symbol um, for love. And I'm trying to make a heart here, and I've practiced this. See, that kind of looks like a heart? Yeah. But a heart kind of represents love. When somebody gives us a heart, that means that hopefully they love us, right? But there are other things that um, might mean that people love us. Um, and if I can do this here, I'm paying attention, and I'm talking to you at the same time. Um, let me see here if I got this. Oh, I got this. Don't you? Don't pee pee, kid. All right, we got this, and we got this, and we go here. I practiced this. I, it took me a while. It did. Trust me. All right, hang on. I'm almost there. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here's another symbol for love. What is that? Cross. It's a cross, isn't it? A cross is a symbol that God loves us. He sent Jesus to the earth. He gave us Jesus to, to be born on Christmas, and he gave us his love, and he gave us his love by sending Jesus with a cross or to the cross for you and for me. God gives us his heart, and he gives us Jesus on a cross. Those are ways that God shows us his love for us. Now, one of the things that I want uh, to show you my love for all of you is I'm going to give you each one of these. It's not all going to be shaped in a cross. I had enough trouble with one. But, but I'll give you one of these, and be careful because I did break one. They do break. Um, but this is just a way that I can show you my love, and I want you to do something for me this week. Maybe today or tomorrow, maybe all week long, I want you to try and show your love for others. Maybe you can give them something or give them a hug or simply tell them that you love them. But just like we... We have a hard time knowing that people love us unless they do something for us. It's nice to be able to tell other people that, that we love them too, okay? So let's take a moment and pray. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for loving us so much, and we ask that uh, you would help us to show your love for others. Uh, help us to give them hugs and tell them that we love them, and let's help us to tell them that you love them most of all. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, you guys hang out. We're going to start the next song, and I'm going to give you each one of these. Uh, whatever the next song is. What is it? Hark the Herald. Hark the Herald. Okay. <laughs> 